Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Carl. Getting ready for another demonstration, I see. You got it. This one is all about regenerative braking on Covaterra battery electric vehicles. Looks to me like you've put a heck of a lot of effort into it. I couldn't have done all this without Kim's help. Hi, Kim. Good job. We are ready to go. Do you want to learn a little bit about regenerative braking? You bet. Let's do this. Okay, Kim. That's your cue. Okay, this is cool. But why is Kim driving a KM200E on a giant treadmill? It will all make sense in a minute. Let's look at this other model we constructed. This looks to me like a mock-up of the traction motor and the complete drivetrain of the KM200E. Very good. What else do you see? I see a copper top battery that presumably is used to represent the state of charge of the battery packs in the KM200E. Also note the flow of energy from the battery to the motor. This simulation is tied directly to Kim's machine. Now watch what happens when Kim takes her foot off the accelerator pedal. Do you see how the flow of energy has reversed? There are two things happening here. When Kim released the accelerator pedal, the motor automatically went into regenerative braking mode, which causes the motor to act as a generator. That's why you see the flow of energy going back to the battery. While in regenerative braking mode, the motor provides a negative torque to the driveline, effectively slowing down the vehicle without applying the service brakes. Kate, this seems like a great feature to have when traveling down ramps in a mine. Very true, Carl. This feature is extremely beneficial during ramp travel as it effectively eliminates the need to use the service brakes to control the vehicle's speed. This also brings us to the second part of our demonstration. Now watch this cool trick. <laughs> you seem impressed, Carl. Just a tiny bit. So, in this part of the simulation, we have Kim driving a KM200E down a 20% grade. There are a few things to note here. First, note that the vehicle is not accelerating down the ramp. Regenerative braking mode is activated and will not allow the vehicle to travel any faster than the set speed in the vehicle controller. Second, Kim has not let off of the accelerator pedal, and that is how constant speed is maintained on the ramp. If she lets off the accelerator, then the vehicle will slow down, but can't completely stop unless the service brakes are applied. So what happens when you reach a full charge on the battery? Excellent question. Let's fast forward to the point where the battery is near 100% state of charge. At this point, no more energy can be stuffed into the battery, and regenerative braking cannot continue without finding another way to dissipate all that kinetic energy. This is where this device comes into play. This is a braking resistor. Its main job is to convert excess electric energy into heat. That heat is transferred to a liquid which then gets rejected to atmosphere through a set of coolers. The braking resistor system is designed to reject all the kinetic energy produced by a fully loaded KM200E traveling on a 20% grade. So that is the end of our demonstration. Hey, I learned something new today. Great presentation, ladies. Let's remind everyone they can find additional information about our products by visiting our website at www.covaterra.com.